All righty, guys. Welcome back to your boy, Motorman Dan. Today, we're going to be talking about the empty rift scroll. Equipping increases rift points, makes enemies worth zero rift points for a short time if used. To get the unique upgrades, you have to activate the trinket nine times. You get increased rift number of rift points, or you get the increased duration of rift protection. Special upgrade is that the first enemy in the rift is worth zero rift points. Uh, again, trinkets have the special upgrade. They don't have level. Everything else that's not a trinket has level, not special. Except for war scenario items as well. They have neither level nor special upgrades. All right. Uh, for what I normally run with this, if I bring it, I'm usually doing increased number of rift points. Uh, because I'm running tests, I really only bring it when I run tests, right? So if I'm playing on close quarters and I need to test, like, fire damage bonus thing or whatever then if i need to get to wave two but i don't want any traps to do any damage or i don't want to do any damage at all either then i'll use the empty rift scroll to get me to level you know wave two or wave three without actually losing and so just depending on the map i may use the first or the second i think we don't run empty rift though um it's got a long cooldown and it's not really worth bringing because if your kill box is good enough to kill everything or if it's not good enough to kill some things, you know, you might as well just rebuild your kill box to where it can kill everything. <laughs> so, you know, something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really use it much. Um, we're going to hop in the game real quick after the game files and take a look at what the visualization looks like of you using it uh, versus not using it. First off, the game files. We have... An additional five rift points if you have it in your inventory it'll give you an additional five rift points and then we have the rift protection time is 10 seconds so when you activate it, you have 10 seconds of rift protection where enemies are not worth anything you have the upgrades uh which is the passive rift points it increases by five takes you up to 10 additional rift points instead of five whenever enemies take rift points from you this additional five or the additional 10 counts towards your skulls so you still can't leak lives even though you have additional lives i wish it wasn't like that and it was more of a shield where that additional five or ten doesn't count against your your actual uh you know completion skull completion that would make it a little bit more uh that'd make it a little better to use i guess um or you can increase the rift protection time by five taking it from 10 to 15 seconds after you use it um, all right, and then we have this one, Disables Passive Rift Point Edition. Oh, that must be for, okay, that's a weekly challenge, weekly challenge nine. Okay, that's what that is. And then we have the special, so on, on the weekly challenge number nine, whichever one that is, the passive rift points don't, they don't give you any passive rift points. Um, the Empty Rift Special One, first enemy in the rift is worth zero points, and free rift subtractions is one so yeah uh that's it for that now uh there's really not much else to talk about other than the trinket protos the active ability cooldown is 180 seconds that is long probably the longest cooldown in the game is this trinket right here and it costs three skulls to acquire that's essentially all there is about it uh so let's just hop into the game real quick so I have it equipped to my hotbar, and you can see what the rift looks like. Um, it's blue and white or whatever. If I activate it, nothing happens. And if I remove it from my hotbar, it doesn't change. So there's no visual uh, aid to tell you when it's active and when it's not active, as far as what it looks like whenever it's there. But let's... Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean... I kind of wish there was, right, so you would know when it's over, or if there was, like, I don't know, some kind of pulsing or, or a, a ticking timer or something, um, or even, like, if it was on the hotbar itself, right? So down to the hotbar, if you imagine the icon, if part of the cooldown had a little line in it and that line was after you've activated it, when it comes off cooldown, right? So, or, or when the when the activation is completed so it'll tick down either 10 or 15 seconds if you have it and as it's doing the cooldown uh line animation once it gets to that line it'll be like a big red line or something that you'll know that it's over 
Uh, but I, I digress. <laughs> uh, so anyways, guys, let me know if you use the empty rift scroll. Maybe use it for scramble if you get the buff for it. I don't know. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you run it? It's useful for you, for what you do. Um, I think if you're trying to get the lowest score possible, you have to use the empty rift. Um, so that's a reason to bring it, I guess. I guess if you're trying to challenge yourself in like very specific ways, you might bring it. If you're doing like a trinket only run. But if you're not going out of your way to like actually have a reason to use it or, or find a purpose for it, I'm not sure that it that it needs to exist, you know, on your hotbar or anything. Um, I will say there's been a couple of like weird it, weird things going on with it. So there was a bug, and I don't know if it's still around, um, but I haven't seen anything about it recently. Where if you're playing endless and you have the empty rift scroll and you use it, like if the stars align then enemies no longer take rift points forever as you can't lose or win an endless you can't complete an endless because they just won't be worth any rift points from that from that point on so it kind of gets bugged out i also know that there was a thing with scramble whenever you brought you brought it it would actually add the additional rift points every single time and so you'd end up at the end of scramble with like 200 rift points if you, if you and a partner both brought it and you brought the increased number of rift points, so it's an additional 10. That's an additional 20 for each of you, or total, right, in every single level. So you'd end up with 200 rift points instead of 100, um, which is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, pretty funny to, to see. But I, I know they, they fixed that one. I think if they fixed the empty rift um, just being on all the time. I think they fixed that. I'm not 100% certain on that. But, yeah, so there's been a couple of bugs with it. Um, but, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you use it? Do you not use it? Let me know why. If you have any cool tr tips or tricks about it, let me know in the comments. And if you are looking for any tips or tricks, maybe check out the comments. Anyways, guys, as always, I should... Uh, Anyways, guys, as always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow. I stream on Twitch and upload to YouTube as of right now. And I will see you on the flip side. Deuces.